29 and go primary 3 from Urban Primary School. So here, last lesson, we have learned about the Bologna's equation, right? And we say it's related to physics and what? Which kind? Okay, so in this case, it is F equals MA, the Newton's law of motion. But actually, it's gravitational. So, let's just write it again. Let's just give an example. For example, something dropped onto something. Okay, for example, you know those meteors, right? They drop into... Sometimes, okay, the meteor could drop onto Earth, right? But when it comes to the Earth's atmosphere, just say if they thought that the Earth is a black hole, then and this path, this will go down, but we'll have to see what is speed. And when you go below the atmosphere, you'll notice something. Okay, so actually, when something drop, for example, you just drop this marker down, um, actually, it's not just gravitational force. There is the gravitational force which is going down. But then there's something that makes it pull up. But I draw it smaller because that it's only a little bit at first. So you drop something. Since you can say, okay, so until now, let's just see hey, that this place never changes. Okay? So since like that, well, here, we, this is not free fall. It's not in a vacuum. So, like this got air resistance, and let's just say that we drop it here. And always the same place. If not, in the future, we'll learn about if the place different, temperature or different, high, low, different, then that we'll, we'll learn it in the future. Okay, so this going up first is air resistance. For example, if you go there, the air resistance will be pulling you here. So, have you noticed this phenomenon happening when you are running? When you try to run, you'll find, sometimes when you run very fast, you'll find a force, force which is you'll find something like behind you, like something pushing you behind. But it's only a very small force. Okay, so that is the air resistance. So like this, we have to find the speed of how it falls. But actually, you better to say velocity. And also, this is equals to dv over dt. But for last letter, we also say that it is equal to d square a, I mean x, over dt square. But is this useful? This is only use. Okay, so until now we first don't care about this. Okay, so like this, right? So we'll have to find this part. But then what does f equals? f, this is mg. So f equals mg minus, this is the force, why don't we call it FR, the resistance, okay? So this will equal to this part, all right? All right. So like this. So here, what does FR equals to? Okay, FR, it's, okay, first, FR is proportional to the velocity. Since it is proportional to the velocity, so here definitely we need a V, but proportional is not equals. So why don't we add a K? What does K mean? K means proportionality. So since we already got this, so we can both sides divide by M, okay? So beyond KV over M. Since it's 
like this. So this part will have to move here and this move here. Whereas it becomes So like this, why don't we both sides integral? But wait, let's first stop here. But as, is this indefinite integral a definite integral? It's definite. While well, here, time, this time, aim is from 0 to t itself. Well, this, what is it? So, what? is v0. What is it? It's that inertial speed, I mean inertial velocity, and it's a v. Okay, so after we got this, this part we can already integrate, whereas you can write that out or you can don't, as this minus this is still a t. Well, here, let's see. So, what will it be like? Since that k over m, it since that k over m, it's a constant. So notice something. Okay, great. So here, since you already have v, so we need another k over m, like this. So let me just. Let me just write it here. Oh, this part. Let me just write it here. Whereas here is the k over m, so become m over k. Then, since we need a negative, so negative, v. Like this, then notice it. Since g, we also call it a constant. By the way, why is g? It's not mg. mg is the gravitational force. But g is also gravitational. But it's it's in so. It's in natural. So like this. Okay? So after we get this, G we also call it a, a constant. So here, basically it's long. But not so fast. So after we get this, B0, V. Okay, so this part, this part minus this part, so it means that this part is a positive, this part is a negative. Whereas we'll need an over. So become Okay, although if you use calculation, you can put this in which it's actually the opposite, but uh, wait. But it's actually better to write like this. So here, let's see. This part, we have the first move to this. So this equals to, again, k over m, negative k over m t. So like this, right, then, since you are alone, so move here, become e to the power. Well, 
Well, this is inertial gravitation. Well, here is in inertial velocity. So, e to the power of negative k over m t. So, left this part. Okay, so actually, although you can write your answer like this, but this is not the simplest form. So, since this is only t, we, we calculate this with, as we want the velocity. We don't want the time, although the time is important. Important. So let's see. This part is still the same. Okay, this divide become times. So here we have to find V. Okay, although this is correct, but there's one problem is that what we are finding is the velocity of how it dropped and this is to the mass center. Like this. So, and anyway, so what's the G? The G is the, there's a few meanings for G. Okay, one of them is Okay, so one of the meaning thing is that it's gravitational acceleration. Another meaning is specific gravitation. Well here, what is it? This is specific resistance. Okay? So like this then This negative and another negative becomes a positive. Simplify what's this? Wait, why did I put this at the last? What's the reason? Okay, so this is damping. This is the damping part. So here, this is the best way to write it, but I just thought of something. Okay, since you want it to be good, so this part T is approaches to infinity. Anyway, so this part is one thing why we can learn. We can learn because that G is always bigger than this part. Why? Because that if this is smaller than, if this is smaller than this bigger, then it becomes flying upwards. But it's not correct because that when these two are equal, it stopped. Okay? Even if it got up, it will go back down. Okay? So here, that's why we can do the law. Okay, here we, if t is equal to zero, then v will be equal to v zero as here will become one. And these two minus will become V0. So that is the starting point. While well, the terminal speed, which is the terminal velocity, is the highest part. So if T approaches to infinity, then E will equal to zero, and all we will left is this, okay, MD over K, okay? So let's start by drawing the graph, okay? Is it an X? Nope. It's not an X. It's the time while the truth while here is the velocity. Zero. Okay. The starting point is the initial velocity. So V zero. 
So that where is that? And just take this point as mg over k. Okay? So this is where a process to. Means that it will become you get closer, okay? So like this. After we get this point, then what is this part for? So this is the damping. So for the damping, is another thing. So damping is actually this and another function. Well, if we have this with sine, so uh, so just get the paper here. Let me just erase, okay? I'm, okay, let me just erase this part. So here for the damping, just an example. So, anyway, I just move this here a bit, okay? If y is equals to e to the power modulus sine x times e to the power of negative Thank you for your watching.